Ooh, I can't stand no splotchy, raggedy, dusty, raggedy, horrible, raggedy, I said it three times, color. <laughs> squad what it do it's your girl lala milan and i'm back with a whole nother video today is about to be super cute fun and experimental why because i am coloring a wig now here's the thing your girl is of course a licensed cosmetologist shout out to empire beauty school straight out of atlanta and it's been a while since i've colored a wig but i have faith in myself that i can do it so first i want to say y'all it's getting real coronavirus quarantine got your girl looking like this okay i'm trying to be patient and allow my nails time to just come off on their own but they're taking a little bit too long taking them a little bit too long to come out but anyways yes let's get into it so i am going to be coloring a cute wig from bossy extensions thank y'all so much for sending me this 14 inch blonde wig which is the perfect canvas for me to go ahead and color now i'm super excited because if y'all know me and you've been rocking with your girl for a while i used to have a signature color and it was purple i decided to go back to my original purple days and go ahead and do lavender from a door and purple rage from a door I have my coloring bowl right here, and I have my brush, my applicator, and of course, I have some plastic gloves. Now, if you are new to this channel, I want to say welcome and thank you so much for coming. Please, everybody, go ahead and give them a round of applause. Thank you so much. Yes! Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel because your girl is always posting new content. Now, if you are returning, I want to say thank you so much for coming back, and you know I appreciate your presence. Now, let's go ahead and get into this coloring moment. Okay, so I went ahead and took the wig out of this package and everything like that. And now, because this is such a loud and bright blonde, and when I'm putting a purple on there, I want to make sure not to get it at the roots so it's not tacky. I'm going to spray, got to be sprayed all on the neck of it and at the roots, the base, whatever you want to call it. So that way I can make sure I don't get any of it, the coloring onto the net. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the content of each color onto each side. Purple Rage and Lavender. So obviously based on the thumbnail, you're about to see that I'm doing half and half because I want to go for a Corella DeVille type situation and that's how I'm going to do that, okay? So I'm going to take piece by piece with the applicator brush and just begin to apply the color evenly on the hair like so. <laughs> Now, I know that some of y'all are probably wondering, well, why didn't she just do watercolor? Well, I'm not going to lie. I haven't done watercoloring before. And before I try to do it on a split wig, I figured I would go ahead and do it the traditional way, which is applying with a brush. Okay. So as y'all can see, I got to the top part of the hair. And I'm making sure that I softly go ahead and put this color. Because, Lord, I ain't trying to have no purple scale. Because guess what? That's not natural, sweetie. It's just not natural. But I'm um, softly doing it, even though I already put my protective barrier of got to be spray. I got to be careful that I don't get any color on that neck because, honey, that's not cute, okay? And now I'm just literally going to go color throughout the rest of it to get all of this that purple. Ooh, Lala DeVille is on the way, okay? And also... Something that I'm doing is taking a comb to spread the color throughout since this is such a large area. And also making sure that I put the color evenly. Oh, I can't stand no splotchy, raggedy, dusty, raggedy, horrible, raggedy, I said it three times, color. Okay? You got to do better than that. And my bad, girl. I know I'm being a little rough, but hey, you don't have any feelings anyway.
because I'm cheap and I like to preserve color, I squeeze as I go, okay? I'm not about to empty all of it into there unless it's absolutely necessary because if I have some color left over, I'm not trying to have to pour it back into the bottle. I will, but if I ain't got to, I don't want it. This is so fun to me, I'm not gonna lie. This is real soothing, if you will. See all that? Not for long. Cause I would hate for the wind to blow, next thing you know you see some blowing, you be like, ooh. <laughs> that color was cute, girl. <laughs> you missed the spot though. Not on my watch. Okay, so as you can see, this side is done. Now we're about to go ahead and switch it over to the lavender. Super excited about this. Why? Because um, this light purple is really, really cute to me. I like it a lot. Um, it was always my favorite. So we're about to see what it's hitting for on uh, this side of the wig. Before I go ahead and deposit some color, this is a trick that I used to use back in the day where I put some conditioner, white conditioner, make sure it's white, into a color to make it a little bit lighter. Um, just because I do want to make sure I see a difference between the lavender and the purple, okay? Hopefully, this does the trick. And mind you, you could use any kind of white conditioner for me. I went ahead and used some Daily Hydration coconut conditioner okay i feel like a scientist or whatever i'm liking the difference between the two sides it looked nasty already nasty in a good way <laughs> and i can't wait to see the finished outcome i'm trying to think about how i want to style it if i want to do a little body bob or if i want to do a little you know curl for the girls or you know just something different we want to see how we feel once we see what the color look like completely i forgot to show y'all the right side and the left side. Child, this whole combo is so good, it needs some fries with it, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> All right, to the dryer we go for real this time. Okay, so as y'all can see, I went ahead and brought the wig back from the sink, rinsed it, shampooed it, and here's what we're looking like. The bomb part is, it looks cute! But, just so y'all know, while the wig is wet, you gotta make sure you squeeze it because that makes it that much easier. So, I'm gonna go ahead and run through it a little bit and squeeze it because I do want it to look super natural along my edges. You know, a lot of times people think because you got color, it won't look right. But if you make it look like it's coming out your scalp, then uh, it actually will, okay? So this is how we look along these bald headed edges, but it's gonna be perfect once you put it on. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing to the other side. This is how much hair I took out of the edges. You know, not that much compared to what we lost growing up, let's be clear. <laughs> Way more than that, unfortunately. Anyways, let's go ahead and let the wig dry so we could style it out, apply it, and get it popping. Okay, I'm done for now. Okay, so as y'all can see, I went ahead and blow dried it and it looks so cute i'm so excited look at this and of course <sighs> the split is perfect your girl is good since the hands is coming back to life now i'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of product up in here and straighten it out so we can get to it as y'all already know i absolutely love the products by amika so i'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of this into my palm just enough to where i can spread it throughout the whole wig and get the flat ironing with my Amika flat iron. And no, this ain't paid. I just like what I like. You better shake cold. You better shake cold. You better, 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 better gonna shake cold. Yes! Y'all see it? <sighs> I'm so nervous to show y'all the results. All right. Here we go! Woo! As you can see, your girl looks motherfucking good. Yes, 
yeah <laughs> yeah i said it okay so let me give y'all a quick rundown yes i went ahead and applied the wig if y'all want to see my other videos on how to apply a wig go ahead and click the link down below because your girl already showed you that but i can do another one if you think it's necessary for hair colors like this brighter you know to make it mesh to the scalp now here's the thing i went ahead and did my makeup i went ahead and applied the baby hairs you know since i ain't got none of my own hello and i also went ahead and put on you know a white bra just in case you didn't notice because i wanted to bring it all the way together okay quarantine got your girl feeling a little down a little dread and i'm just trying to make myself feel good so i don't be depressed okay in the house with nothing to do bored in the house bored in the house bored but i'm in love with this Lala DeVille unit. Please let me know what y'all thinking about it. Look, I also think that y'all should go ahead and try your own colors based off of this video. Do a dark blue and a light blue. Do a hot pink and a light pink. Whatever you see fit for your personality. Hey, or you could keep it classic and do blonde and black. I'm here for it. But either way, I truly, truly, truly hope that y'all enjoyed this video. And remember, if you have not done so already, please make sure you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Hold up. I ain't even posed for y'all. One moment, please. You know, I can't, I got to do like the rest of the YouTubers, you know, whenever they do their little model poses and stuff. But anyways, <laughs> you get the point. It looks good. Make sure you go ahead and comment. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe. I thank you in advance. And also turn on your notification bell because your girl is always posting new content. Please make sure to let me know. If you guys missed something in this video, if you would like to see me do another tutorial on application because this is lighter hair, sometimes it's a little bit difficult. And look, always, always, always remember, I'm your girl Lala Milan and Lala Squad, I love y'all for real. Until next time, bye!